Welcome to the second tutorial for making NeoGolf maps. Um, if you haven't watched the first tutorial yet, I recommend you to go check it out first. In this video, I'll cover how to make some blocks have different colors, um, how to make the gravity reversed, how to uh, make some blocks fall down with gravity, and how to make like some blocks move around. Go to the description below and download the example map to get started. First of all, you can change the color of the blocks. Um, just search up on Google Color Picker, and you can just choose the color that you like. And then once you're happy with the color, just um, go here, copy this hex code, and then in Blender, um, click on the object that you want to change the color of, right click it, click Rename Active Object, and type um, open square bracket, color equals, um, paste what you just copied and then close square bracket and then enter and now you'll see that you have changed the name of this block and if you go to scripting and then run it and then open this link um, you will see that the color of the block is changed you can also change the transparency of the block to make some blocks kind of uh, see-through in that case you can click on another object uh, right click it Click Rename Active Object to open square bracket um, opacity equals 0 0.5. Um, so basically, 1 means that it's completely like solid, whereas 0 is like invisible. And if you have um, two different blocks that are kind of overlapping and you want to control which one is in the front, you can also do this. You can um, right click on each of them and then put um, this is like color. Is that right? Just put comma um, layer equals one, um, one through ten. Ten is in the front, whereas like one is in the back. So if this is layer one and that's like this one is like layer is like five, then it means that this one will be shown in the front. Another really cool thing you can do is add messages into the game, like add text. So let's say you want to change this block into a text. Then just right click this, click rename active object, uh, just delete everything, and then just type um, open square bracket um, message equals open curly bracket, and this is right what you want to write, it's like hello world. And then close the curly bracket, and then close the square bracket. And if you run this code, then it'll show hello world in the game as you can see here. Um, if you want to change the font size or the font color, you can also do that easily by just right clicking on this and then editing it here. So just put a comma like right between the two ending brackets and then type font size equals like, let's put 80, put comma again, and then put font color equals hashtag FF0000. Um, this is red, by the way. And then if you run this, you can see that the font is bigger and it's red. Okay, now go ahead and let's get rid of this message. And let's add a new cube. Go to add mesh and then uh, cube. Um, let's try making this cube like fall from the sky. Um, so to do that, just right click on this, um, open square bracket, type static equals off. This will make the block fall down. Um, here, as you can see, the block falls down with the player. Another really cool thing you can make is a block that you can kind of fly through. So let's delete this. And let's add a, this time let's try adding like a um, icosphere which is just like a sphere. And let's make it so that you can um, move through this sphere. Um, in order to do that, you have to make it ignore collisions. And to do that, just um, right click on this, click rename active object, and type air equals on. This means that this becomes air. And now you can see, you can fly right through this sphere. Um, you can even make this sphere kill you when you touch it or um, intersect it. So to do that, just right click on this, click rename active object, and um, put a comma 
and say killer equals on. This makes the sphere a killer. And when you try to go through this, you will see you die when you touch it. Okay, now let's go ahead and delete this uh, sphere. And let's try adding a let's add a let's add a cube. And let's say that we want this cube to disappear one second after we touch it. Um, and to do that, um, right click on this cube and type vanish equals one. This means that the cube will vanish after one second after the player touches the cube. Okay, and if you touch this cube, it'll disappear one second after it touches it. And finally, you can also control the friction and mass of every object. If you um, right click this, let's delete all of this. And then just um, put um, mass equals like 0 0.5 comma friction equals like 1, then it'll reflect these properties in the actual game. Okay, now I will talk to you about how to reverse the gravity. Um, to do that, go ahead to um, add, mesh, and then plane. And it's hard to see, but there's like some line that's bond. Um, this line actually, um, in 3D, it looks like this. Um, it's actually like a surface. But in the 2D perspective, it just looks like a line. But anyways, um, there is a way to make it easier to see. So um, the solution is just to go to the scripting tab and then click Run. And you'll see, note, plane has been standardized. So if you go back to the layout, you'll see that now it's like a cube. Um, but it's not a cube, it's actually, a, uh, it's actually just like a plane, but my program just like kind of turned it around so that it's easier to work with. But if you didn't understand any of this, it doesn't matter. It's, it's totally fine. Anyways, um, let's make this longer. Make this longer, and then let's move it a little bit closer to the spawn point, but make sure that the plane does not uh, go beyond the left, like beyond the spawn point. Um, like the left surface of this cannot pass the blue line here. Um, anyways, now that we have the plane, um, the next step is to make the plane do stuff. So click on the plane, right click on it, and then uh, type open square bracket, uh, gravity equals negative one, and then close square bracket. If you run this program, um, you will probably notice no apparent change. However, if you move the character a bit to the right, you will see that the gravity becomes reversed. And to explain what is happening, it's that when the player spawns, um, there is no plane below it, so there is no reverse gravity. However, when the um, player moves a bit to the right, then it becomes on top of the plane, and the player um, becomes gravity reversed. You can actually use the plane for a lot more than just reversing the gravity. So what you can also do is you can also make the blocks move. Um, to do that, let's like make some space. So just go ahead and delete this here and delete this. And let's rename this. And this time let's write um, open square bracket ID equals one and then close square bracket. Um, now go ahead to add, um, click on uh, mesh um cube and move this cube like just like here and for this cube rename the active object open square bracket type id equals one as well um, press comma and then put movement x equals let's say one and then close square bracket um, go ahead to the scripting tab and then click run and try running this program. Once you open the link, what you'll notice is that again, nothing's happening because there is no plane immediately below the spawn. However, if your player goes on top of the plane, then the block moves in the X direction. Um, in the, the X direction refers to left and right. Okay, now let's add another plane. Go ahead to add mesh plane. And again, this is a line, so we want to make this like 
we want to make it facing the right way, like this. So the easiest way to do that is um, go to scripting and then run. And as you can see, the thing rotated properly. So um, just go back to the 2D view by clicking the X here. And then right click this, let's put for this one, let's put ID equals two. Let's make this a bit longer as well. Oh, by the way, planes cannot um, overlap, so they cannot be like this. It has to be like this. Anyways, let's add a new object. This one will also be a cube. And let's right click on this and then put for this one id equals 2, comma. For this, let's do rotation equals 1. And as you can imagine, um, when the player is going over the second plane, it'll trigger this block because they have the same ID. And for this block, it says rotation equals 1. So it'll rotate at the rate of 1 per second, whatever that means. <laughs> Again, we can test out the map. And there you go, the block is rotating. Also, um, keep in mind that you can actually have multiple blocks being affected by the plane. So you can go to Add, Mesh, and let's add a, a icosphere. And let's put this like near the spawn here. And let's say that this one is also triggered by ID1, comma. Um, it'll have the movement of Y. Y means up and down. Uh, movement Y equals 1. Um, what this does is that um, these two blocks have the same ID as this plane. Therefore, when the player is going over this plane, um, these two blocks will be affected. And when they are affected, this um, sphere will go upwards by one, whereas this one will go rightwards in the right direction by one. Okay, so as you can see, I was wrong. Um, Movement y equals 1 actually made the block go down, not up. But you get the point. You can actually put minus 1 and the block will go upwards. And um, yeah, so that just proves that you can have uh, multiple blocks being affected by the same plane if they have the same IDs. Um, not only can multiple blocks be affected by the same plane, um, each block can actually have multiple like movements. So it can be moving to the right by 1 while also like rotating and keep in mind you can have any value you want so you can put like minus 1000 or something let's try it actually and then go to scripting and then run and here you can see this block is turning super fast while also moving to the right so th these are all the ways that you can modify how blocks and players behave in NeoGolf. And um, for more details on each of these like modifiers, um, make sure to check out the Google Doc in the description below because we have more details about like what units there are and like what are the default values for each kind of thing. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure to message us in our Discord server. And thanks for watching and I'll see you later.